In this video I'll be showing you how to paint different membranes for all your winged creatures. We'll start off with a nice basic fleshy membrane, move on to something with a bit more demonic tint to it, then we'll do more of a leathery membrane and finally we'll finish up with something that looks a little bit sickly with a Nurgle type membrane. And make sure you stay till the end and we'll go for something a little more exotic with this nice yellow, orange and black dot example. I've primed the model using Xandri Dust, you can use your preferred primer. I've also painted in all the spines with black just to separate all the different areas. The first thing we'll do is paint the fleshy membrane, so we're going to start off with Cadian Flesh Tone and we want to get a nice even coat of this all over this section of the wing. Of course, if you're painting the entire wing this colour, then do all of the membranes with the Cadian Flesh Tone. Whilst we wait for that to dry, we'll move on to the demonic membrane, or we'll base that using Screamer Pink. Again, if you're going to paint the whole of the wings this colour, then base all the membranes, but for this example, I'm just going to do this one section. Similarly, we'll do the leathery part all in black. Now, whichever black you prefer, use that. I'm using AK Interactive Intense Black, but a bad and black is absolutely fine as well. Finally, for the base of the Nurgle rotting type wing membrane, we'll take some Iron Arc Flesh and paint this all over. Now, this is one of those paints that can be quite thick and gloopy, so make sure you thin it with a bit of water. And if you need to do two or three coats, then make sure you've got a nice smooth coverage on there. With all of those base colours dry, it's time to add a little bit of depth to the membrane. So the first thing we're going to do is take some Reikland Flesh Shade and paint this all over the Cadian Flesh Shone that we've laid down. Take your time, you don't want it to pull on too heavily at all. Similarly, moving across to the Screamer Pink base, we're going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade and use this into all the recesses. Again, we don't want it to pull too heavily. Uh, we don't need to put anything on the black membrane, but for the Nurgle dead skin type membrane, we'll take some Croak Green and just work this all over so we get some really nice contrast and depth on this part of the membrane. Once that's completely dry, we want to smooth all those colours back down a little bit. So we're going to use a small dry brush, and we're going to use those base colours to just dry brush in a downward motion. So we'll start off with Cadian Flesh Tone, catching those raised areas and just blending a little bit and smoothing across where we may have got a little bit too much of that wash in. Then we move across to Screamer Pink. When it comes to the black wing, we're going to use Skaven Blight Dinge, and of course back to Iron Arc Flesh for the Nurgle wing. With a slightly smoother transition, we can now go back to the base colours and add them on in a layer style. So make sure you've got a good point in your brush, and all we're looking to do is catch the raised areas across the membrane. So we're going to use Cadian Flesh Tone again, we're going to use Screamer Pink again, we're going to use Skaven Blight Dinge, and of course Iron Arc Flesh. And what we're looking to do is just paint lines across the wing, leaving a little bit in the depth, but in the main we're painting the whole of the creases, as you can see in the video here. We'll then look to increase that highlight to make the wing membrane really pop. So for the fleshy part, we're going to take some Kislev Flesh. And for the more demonic pinky part, we're going to take some Pink Horror. And what we're looking to do is just paint across those raised areas again, focusing more towards the centre. So you're probably only painting about half to a quarter of the surface area, focusing down the middle of that membrane. Similarly for the black leather membrane we're going to use Storm Vermin Fur and we're going to use Deepkin Flesh on that Nurgly membrane. Again focusing on the centre part of those membranes just working our way down before we come back next and add that final highlight to really make them pop. Moving on to the final extreme highlight, we're looking to cover just a quarter of the raised parts of the membrane. So for the fleshy part we're going to use Flayed One Flesh. For the pinky demonic part, we're going to use Emperor's Children. For the black leather wing, we're going to use Bane Blade Drown. And finally, for the Nurgle membrane, we're going to use Ulthuang Grey. So you can leave the wing membranes there if you want. I'm going to go in and add some more interest. So for those fleshy areas, I'm going to take some Berserker Bloodshade and just paint this into all those nicks, as well as down the side of the membrane. And I'm just going to take some water and feather that out a little bit, just to add a little bit more hint of a colour and add some more interest around that scarred area. Area. For the Nurgle membrane, I want to add some luminosity to give it the impression that it's nice, thin and sickly. So I'm going to take some Nylac Oxide, I'm not going to have too much on my brush to make sure I've got a good point. And I'm going to stipple this along the edges of the spines and I'm also going to stipple it towards the centre a little bit in a very random dot pattern. And you can see as this starts to develop and build up, you get a really nice luminous effect down the side. So start over the little bit, you can always add more. Finally, for those black leathery wing membranes, I want to add a little bit of warmth into them. So I'm going to take a little bit of Volupus Pink Contrast Paint and paint this on the bottom. I'm then going to clean my brush off 
wipe it in a bit of tissue and then I'm going to use this to feather out the Volupus pink across the wing. Now do this with a little bit of start when you can always add more later but the key is to make sure that that paint is still wet before you go back in with the plain brush and that way you can start to build it up and blend it across the wing. So like I said just adds a little bit of warmth there. So I said we'll paint something a little bit more exotic on this spare bit of membrane. So first off take some Ariel Yellow. Now you will need two or three thin coats of this to build up a nice even layer. Next up, paint some Reichland Flesh Aid into the recesses, being careful that you don't flood the area because you want this to be fairly thin. Once that's completely dry, then take some Flash Gates Yellow and use this to highlight the membrane exactly the same way as we've highlighted all the other membranes on this wing. Once everything is dry, then take some Magma Drop Flame Contrast Paint and paint little flame effects going from the black spine area of the wing towards about halfway up the membrane. Now first off, map it all out using a good point on your brush and once that's all done, you can go back and fill it in so you've got a nice fiery effect. I've added some dots of Magma Droth Flame up the wing membrane as well. And the last thing we'll do is take some black. Now it could be whatever black paint you want. And we're just going to add some dots. Again, stippling this on, larger size dots towards the spines of the wing and then smaller dots towards the end of that orange on the membrane. And this will give you a really nice, fiery, exotic looking wing membrane. And there you have it, really simple wing membranes. They look fantastic on a range of models such as Demon Princes, Tyranids, Bellacore, even Mortarian himself. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other content. I will see you next time.